When you don't have a car and little money, it can be difficult getting from point A to point B. That is, if you're unwilling to let a stranger drive you, of course. Getting in an unfamiliar car or letting a stranger into yours can be a scary thing, but sometimes it's a whole lot more than just scary. And sometimes the ride ends very, very badly. Here are 10 terrifying true hitchhiking stories. Number 10 is Footprints. In early 2018, while driving down Provincial Route 92 near Santa Fe, Argentina, oil field worker Pedro Perone came across a young man with his thumb out. Seeing that the boy appeared to be around 17 years old and wearing the clothing that resembled ones worn by students at a nearby industrial school, Pedro stopped and let the hitchhiker into his truck. The pair traveled along the road until the boy asked to be dropped off at a cemetery crossing. Willing to oblige, Pedro stopped and let his passenger out, only to suddenly begin to smell something burning. Looking down, he found that a pair of footprints had been burned into the bottom of his vehicle, melting his floor mats. When he looked up, the hitchhiker had completely vanished, the only trace of him being the charred markings that his feet left behind. Number nine is a change of heart. In the early 1980s, a woman in her mid-twenties named Nikki was driving along when she spotted a man walking alone. Being a kind-hearted person, Nikki stopped and asked the man if he needed help, and he shyly requested a ride to the city, which she happily granted him. The man was very polite, and the two talked for over an hour until they got to a pit stop where Nikki bought them dinner. Upon reaching the city, the man asked for her phone number so they could catch up one day. Gladly, she obliged him, said goodbye, and drove off. A week later, Nikki got a call from the hitchhiker. He told her that she should be grateful that she was raised to be so nice, as he'd initially intended to steal her car and dump her body in a ditch. He ended the call by saying, Nikki, please never ever pick up another hitchhiker. Number eight is from one graveyard to another. Sometime in the 1930s, an unidentified man and his brother were driving in Lexington, Kentucky, along Route 421, when they passed a young woman in nice evening attire, standing alone by the entrance to a vast cemetery. Offering her a ride, the man's brother got into the back seat. After a short trek down the road, the woman reached over, gripped the man's arm, and told him he should stop as they had arrived. Her touch sent a cold stab of fear through him, and when he looked down, the arm was barely more than bones. The woman now appeared to be ancient and wrinkled, her clothes now a torn up gown. Seconds later, she faded from the seat as a thick fog swept by, carrying her from the car to a different cemetery across the street. The man's brother demanded that they leave, prompting him to put the pedal to the floor. Number seven is the seven year hitchhike. In mid-May of 1977, 20-year-old Colleen Stan left her home in Eugene, Oregon and began hitchhiking south. She was trying to get to Westwood, a city in Northern California, in an attempt to surprise her friend at her birthday party. Unfortunately, she didn't make it. After making it over three quarters of the way to her friend's house, Stan was picked up by 23-year-old Cameron Hooker, who, alongside his 19-year-old wife Janice and infant daughter, 
was driving by in a blue van. Shortly after that, Stan was forcibly confined to a small wooden box underneath the couple's waterbed and left there for nearly 23 hours a day. It wasn't until 1984 when Janice decided to save Stan by bringing her to a bus stop and letting her go. Cameron was arrested and sentenced to 104 years, and Stan now advises everyone not to hitchhike. Number six is the Psycho Family. On May 26, 2016, a Polish man known only by the name Merrick was hitchhiking through the country of Ireland. His plan was to make his way to the city of Longford, where a car he was looking to buy awaited him. A car came along occupied by a family of four, which Merrick saw as a trustworthy ride, so he flagged it down. Climbing into the back seat, he sat between two children, an eight-year-old and a baby that appeared to be less than six months old. The car pulled away, but about 15 minutes down the road, he discovered he'd made a horrible mistake. Their vehicle met up with another and he was was locked inside. The now larger group of strangers then attacked him, taking all of his money, and despite him fully cooperating, stabbed him multiple times, all while the two kids watched. Number five is the smoldering couple. According to local legend, in 1963, a family lost their lives in a fire that consumed their home on Wayland Road in Farr, Texas. Since then, numerous reports have identified Wayland Road as a paranormal hotspot, with many claiming to encounter the ghosts of the family. People have reported seeing ghostly or severely burned people running out of the woods along the street, often crying out for help. One particular incident involved a couple who were forced to stop on the road when two children ran in front of them screaming. As one of them climbed up on the hood of the car, the other pointed towards the people in the car who could smell flesh burning. Sitting in the back seat were two smoldering corpses. The couple sped from the scene only to have the burning bodies disappear before the vehicle was pelted by sticks and rocks. Number four is the fake Philip. On June 14, 1988, 25-year-old Anchorage, Alaska native Philip Frazier left his home and headed for Washington State. Soon after departing, his car broke down, forcing him to get it repaired. Perhaps Frazier should have taken the bad luck as an omen, as soon after crossing into Canada, he met an unidentified hitchhiker at a gas station who would end up taking everything else from him. On June 19th, Eddie and Pauline Olson came upon Philip Frazier at the side of the road. They took him in for the night and the next morning, he claimed he wanted to sell his car for a plane ticket. When the Olsons saw him acting suspiciously and asked for him to wait until Monday to sell his car to them, Frazier hastily left. Six weeks later, the real Philip Frazier's body was found. The hitchhiker had assumed his identity and killed him. Number three is clown makeup. Reddit user Jason is so handsome recounted a story that his history teacher told him about hitchhiking to his mother's house as a teenager in the 1970s. He was walking home when a larger man pulled up and offered him a ride, which he graciously accepted. Shortly after getting into the vehicle, he noticed a clown costume and makeup in the back seat, but accepted the driver's answer that he was a part-time clown as he was one of the most polite people he'd ever met. It wasn't until a few years Years later that the history teacher discovered who he'd accepted a ride from, none other than John Wayne Gacy, a psychopath also known as the Killer Clown. He took the lives of at least 33 young men between 1972 and 78 in metropolitan Chicago. He was literally sitting in a car with a serial killer and had absolutely no idea.
Number two is he's yours now. Those who live near Patterson Road in Houston, Texas know that it's haunted. Witnesses often see ghosts of Civil War soldiers lurking about, but for one unidentified man, they did much more than lurk one night, as he claims to have nearly lost his life to them. After picking up a man in odd clothes and a big hat, the driver continued down the road. Some ways along, the hitchhiker became aggravated about rolling the windows down and lost his hat, revealing that half of his head was missing and what was left was rotting flesh. Jumping from the car, the driver ran towards the bridge. The hitchhiker didn't pursue, instead smiling and calling out, he's yours now, boys. Suddenly, dozens of ghostly soldiers grabbed at the man, but he was saved when a passerby came along, causing the ghosts all to vanish. And number one is hitchhiker hands. In 2005, after traveling for six days via hitchhiking with different rides, en route to his uncle's house, Reddit user Urban Teller found himself without a warm bed for the night. Stepping off of the road, he set up his one-man tent a short ways into the forest. That night, the only dreams that greeted him were terrible nightmares about being chased, caught, and cut open. Waking up around 5 a.m., the man found the ground that he'd cleared for his camp to now be lumpy and uneven, but before he could go back to sleep, a fawn hit the side of the tent, struggling to free itself from something. Investigating, he discovered that hands had come out of the ground and were holding the animal down. Running away, he called the police, who soon after uncovered the three bodies of hitchhikers who had been missing for several years.